With the social distancing requirements of lockdown, many people have given serious consideration to two wheels rather than four. As Stephen McKenzie runs Velo Culture, just outside Portbrush, in fact, above the Royal Court Hotel on the Ballybogie Road. Stephen, have you noticed many more people showing an interest in your range of bicycles? Yeah, Dennis, the last three months has seen the greatest growth uh, that I've seen in the last 10 years. Um, you know, it used to be footfall was, was steady. Footfall in the last three months has been just growing exponentially. And how easy would you genuinely say it is to consider going to work on a bicycle rather than by car? Well, I think we're, we're living in an age now when we, we recognise our footprint, our carbon footprint. Um, and with the growing network of, of cycle lanes coming popping up over uh, Northern Ireland, um, I think people are being really encouraged to get on their bike and try cycling into work. And some of your bicycles, of course, are quite state-of-the-art. I mean, gears, are they up to 16 gears? And, and many, many more <laughs> if you want it. Some of your new e-bikes now that are out on the market have maybe four or five different levels of assist, as well as 10 manual gears. You're up to 40 and 50 gears in total. And what about the, if, if infrastructure is the word here, Stephen, in this area, cycle paths and so on, is that good, bad or indifferent? Um, I think historically I'm going to use the word indifferent, um, but I think there is, there's going to be a new emphasis placed on them. You know, people are not going to be travelling into work the same way we used to um, pre-COVID. Um, I think people are going to be encouraged to work from home. Um, so the local network of cycle lanes, I think, is going to be improved radically over the next few months. Uh, and the bikes that, that are in behind you that we're having a look at now, I think, on screen, are they being bought by the cycling enthusiast or is it the person who's really, really keen on leisure? No, certainly the last the last three months has seen the, the leisure industry grow hugely. Um, families of three, four, five coming in, um, are getting a little bit tired of just walking the beach or walking around the block and in buying a, a family of bikes. Um, Mum and dad buying e-bikes, kids getting their, their good old analog bikes um, and then heading out as, as a family for a ride. You're going to have to explain analog bike to so us. So your good old traditional bike, manual gears, um, not the electronic version, not the, not, not the assisted version. Now, is there a real possibility then that getting on the bike is what we should be considering, especially when one considers that we're going to be asked to wear a mask, quite possibly, in public and on public transport? Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, you know, all the evidence is showing um, scientifically that being outdoors is probably the safest place to be. Um, and just recently in the last few days, you've started to see on the north coast um, small groups of, of cyclists going back out again. Not what you had seen four or five months ago, but sort of groups of four, five and six and just that little bit of distance between them. And it's, it's well, according to the scientists, it's safe to do so. All right, Stephen, just remind us again of how we get in touch with Velo Culture. Um, you can find us online at velo-culture.com. Um, or you can pop into the store, three or four staff willing to, to serve you just when you're in open from 10 to half past five, Monday through to Saturday. Now, we haven't quite finished yet, but for the moment, we're going to say Steve McKenzie at Velo Culture. Thanks very much indeed for chatting to us on Causeway Coast Radio. Thank you. Now, if all this talk about cycling and bicycles fills you with dread, the possibility you might have to pedal a bike up a, a hilly mountainside, fear not. Let me introduce you to the e-bike. E as in electric, as in it does the work for you.